Hey guys, want to do a quick video for you to kind of show you um, some changes I made to my helmet. And most of these changes are for an upcoming film that I'm supposed to be a part of called SCP Overlord. Um, so the director asked for helmets to be covered in a black helmet cover. So this helmet cover is from Amazon. The brand is called One Tigress. And it's mainly black, um, with the exception of the top, like Cordura material here is a multicam black. But there's not much of it, so for the most part it just looks black um, pretty much all over because the mesh material is just black. There's no multicam black mixed in there. Just that Cordura on top is the multicam black. So I'm going to go over kind of all the pieces that I have on this helmet and um, hopefully you'll see it in the film. So uh, the headset I have, this is the Tax Guy um, Compact 3 replicas. I can see they say PCLTOR instead of Peltor. Um, close enough. Can barely tell that that's not an E there, and they work good for um, a replica. I wouldn't use these if I needed hearing protection. If you need hearing protection, I would look at the Peltor range guards. But for a replica, I didn't mount my real contacts to this helmet. I wanted to just do all replica for this helmet. So these are good. They have um, kind of the gel inserts. They're not as comfortable as the Peltor gel inserts on my real contact threes but they do the part and they're much more comfortable than other replica um, headsets. Um, those are mounted to real Peltor um, adapters um, for the arc rail and then I have the cry precision um, arc rail adapters as well so kind of a meld between the Peltor and cry precision. I think um, it provides a better fit and um, I didn't have too much of the issues with them popping out with the cry precision adapters on there that I did with the uh, real Peltor arc rail adapters. So that's the headset there. Um, I have a like a test video if you want to see how it works with like a radio setup. You can find that in my um, video history. So moving back, we have the FMA PVS 31 battery pack. Um, this is from JK Army. I'm not sure if they dip the multicam themselves or if they just have um, them stocked through FMA, but it is dipped in multicam. And uh, it looks pretty neat. It holds some batteries. I have a video on this as well if you want to check that out. Um, the uh, Hellstar, this is a replica. This is an FMA Hellstar 6. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Hellstars, mainly the Hellstar 5. I really like the way the Hellstar 5 looks, but when they made the replica of the newer um, Hellstar 6, I wanted to pick one up, and I think it looks really cool. It has um, just the constant on with the green, and then if you switch it to setting 2, the constant green, and then white flashing. And then up here is how you would switch it to IR, and you can do that with any of the modes with it being on. It has to be on either 1 or 2 but it'll flash IR, which you can kind of see a little bit there. Um, really cool, I think it looks neat and uh, kind of fits the profile. The Hellstar 5 is like really long, it has like a battery pack and then a strip, and this one is a little bit more minimal in the sense of it taking up less space, although it does protrude out a little bit more than the Hellstar 5 does. So that's that. Um, this patch, if you're curious about the patch, this is from Endo Apparel. It's a every day, no days off. Um, they make this. This is kind of like a um, parody on the Arcturix logo. And it says, uh, can't even. And it has a little human skeleton instead of the uh, skeleton bird. And uh, I think it's a really neat patch. Looks really cool. And uh, you can go to Endo to get that. Um, let's see, this is FMA Blast Gauge. I did play around with this, and if you um, put like a pen or a toothpick or something in there, you can um, push the button, hold the button down, and it'll turn on. It's just a light. And then if it, you like tap against it, or if it picks up noise on the microphone, it'll um, light up one of these indicators, and you can decide which color it is by that middle button. It's kind of doesn't really do much, but it does have a little bit of a function if you want it to light up and stuff like that. Um, let's see. The Contour, this is a Contour Rome 2 wrapped in multicam. 
I think it's McNett camo form is what I used. I think they still make it in multicam and there's just various pieces that I put together to get it wrapped in uh, the multicam and uh, I think it looks cool uh, a lot better than just like the black uh, camera with the contour logo on the side. I liked it better wrapped in multicam even though the helmet cover is black. Um, I still keep like my multicam accessories on the helmet as well. And uh, moving forward, this is an MF L4 G24. And uh, it's, a, it's cool. It's like one of the updated colorways. This is like a replica of the newer Wilcox, but this one says Will Gox on it, which is weird, but I pretty much never have it flipped down and it's just a replica for looks and it does a part it looks really nice it's a good color good material and it does it mounts really nice on the uh, tier 9 uh, skeleton shroud here and then I guess lastly I can go over the base helmet this is my FMA thick and heavy maritime that I kind of put to put some of the parts from the my old TMC maritime in here so I took the pads and stuff from a real Opscore actually, so these are real Opscore pads, but the liner and dial system are from my TMC, because um, they were actually really high quality, so I um, parted those off of the TMC and put it on this FMA, but the shell itself is FMA, and I think it's probably the better plastic replica shell, and uh, I like it quite a bit. And then the rails are also from the TMC, let me see, because it has the Opscore logo. I'll try to peel this up for you so you can see. Kind of see it there. But the rail has the Opscore logo on it. And I decided I wanted to bring as many of the Opscore logo stuff onto the helmet as I could. So I have the Opscore <coughs> rails, the kind of little sticker inside, and then the Opscore logo, <clears throat> excuse me, on the Tier Nun Shroud. So uh, that's my helmet setup, um, hopefully, for SCP Overlord. Uh, thanks for watching.